I'm Ben Micellis from the Midas Touch Network. The scandal involving Lauren Boebert's completely despicable and inappropriate behavior during a theatrical performance of the show Beetlejuice at a Denver theater, it gets more and more disturbing, this scandal, each and every day. Now, we first reported how Lauren Boebert was uh, accused of engaging in rowdy behavior. It was alleged that she was vaping near a pregnant woman, that she was shining the light of her phone around, that she was making a whole scene during the theatrical performance. Lauren Boebert then put out a statement that said, it's true, I did thoroughly enjoy the amazing Beetlejuice at the Buell Theater, and I plead guilty to laughing and singing too loud. Everyone should go see it. If you get the chance this weekend, please let me know how it ends. So she kind of made a mockery of it as though it wasn't a real thing. Then there was initial surveillance footage that we're showing right now, which shows um, that she was engaging in inappropriate behavior and that she was kicked out, but you didn't really get the full impact of what was taking place. Then her campaign team put out statements, the ultimate gaslighting. They basically blamed the performers and the show and the people around her for the reason that there was smoke all around. The reason there was smoke is because she was vaping in front of a pregnant woman and the pregnant woman said, can you stop vaping in my face? I'm pregnant. We're in a public place. Stop vaping and stop being loud and obnoxious. We're all just trying to behave like you human beings and enjoy this play. So Boebert's campaign team put out a statement and the uh, spokesperson disputed reports that Boebert had been vaping, telling People Magazine that, quote, a venue ticket site notes that there are heavy fog machines and electronic cigarettes used during the play and that they believe it was a misunderstanding from someone sitting near her. So they blame the performance, a misunderstanding from someone sitting next to her. And then the Denver Post Post reported as well that Drew Sexton, someone from Boebert's campaign, confirmed the congresswoman and her companion were escorted out of the show, but claimed that while the congresswoman did use her phone to take a picture of the performance, she was not vaping throughout the show. This is the statement they gave, quote, I can confirm the stunning and salacious rumors in her personal time. Congresswoman Lauren Boebert is indeed a supporter of the performing arts gasp and to the dismay of a select few enthusiastically enjoyed a weekend performance of Beetlejuice, he said in a statement. Well, then new video emerged of Lauren Boebert, which showed that she was vaping, that she was acting completely inappropriate. You can see the pregnant woman behind her telling her to stop. You can see Lauren Boebert waving her hands. There's another video that I want to show you after I show you this one. It's the new video that surfaced that I want to focus on as well, but I wanted to set the foundation before showing you the new video. And so this was a previous video, not the new one I want to show you. This though is Lauren Boebert um, uh, with, you can see the lights here on and you can see Boebert clearly vaping. You can see Boebert being escorted out. You can see Boebert shining a light and taking photographs while it, you can also see the, uh, her new boyfriend there appears to be groping her breast as well. So let's play this clip. And then I want to talk to you about the new footage. Play this clip. Bobert, Bobert, Bobert. Say it three times and she appears in security video from a weekend performance of Beetlejuice, where the congresswoman was kicked out of the theater for being disruptive. The DCPA says she was vaping. Bobert's team denied that, said the haze was from fog machines in the show. That claim goes up in smoke when you see the video. The pregnant woman sitting behind Bobert told the Denver Post she asked her to stop vaping, and Bobert refused. Her one woman show continued, taking flash photos raising her hands and dancing, often the only one clapping or standing up in the crowd. Bobert occasionally took a break from being disruptive to enjoy the company of her male companion. He briefly had a grasp on the situation before ushers returned and told Bobert she had to leave. The theater's instant report says Bobert pulled the don't you know who I am card on the way out, giving theater employees the single finger salute. Okay, so in the new footage that emerged, and folks, this is real footage I'm going to be showing you. What you'll see here is that basically Lauren Boebert and the boyfriend are at this family theatrical performance, okay, in public. 
and they are groping each other. And what you'll see is you'll see him grabbing her breast for a significant period of time. And then you'll see her grabbing his genitals as well in public open space at a family event. You can see what's going on right here. Just so you see it on the screen. This is real footage folks of what was taking place at the theater. You can see there the hand, you can see where her hand is placed, you can see what is going on here. And folks, th 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 what, this is a member of Congress. What are you doing? And then the gaslighting, and, and by the way, not just a member of Congress, the hypocrisy here, right? This is someone who attacks the LGBTQ plus community. She goes and she frolics on stage talking about family values and she acts holier than thou. She cites the Bible and Jesus almost every day to justify horrific things here. Remember when she did this at a recent speech? She does this all the time. I could show you any number of these events. This is where she went on stage and she quoted the Bible and quoted Jesus as a way to attack, to basically threaten the life of President Joe Biden. Just so you remember, play this clip. God said that he was the provider. I know that Jesus said that, he, that we would be blessed, but I just don't know about this month. And Jesus is right there at the table with you. Sam, what kind of conversation is this? Why are you talking like this and why are you sad? Jesus, don't you know? We're out of money. COVID's hit, they shut everything down. Joe Biden's president. We don't know what to do, Lord. <laughs> It's all right, we pray for our presidents. Uh, you know, it says, let his days be few and another take his office. <laughs> That's why I filed articles of impeachment for Joe Biden. <laughs> Unfortunately, he does have a really great insurance policy named Kamala Harris. <laughs> and I don't know about you folks, that's disgusting, what we just watched. And I am disgusted by this MAGA Republican hypocrisy. The party of George Santos, Marjorie Taylor Greene, Jim Jordan, Paul Gosar. This is not an aberration. It's not like, oh, you've got Lauren Boebert engaged in this behavior. They're all like that. Ooh, Jim Jordan. Jim Jordan, the non-licensed lawyer who chairs the House Judiciary Committee. This MAGA Republican, before he got into Congress, what he is known for was covering up sexual abuse for a wrestling team where he was a coach and he called up players and the players say he threatened them not to come forward with their valid allegations of sexual abuse. That's Jim Jordan. Who do you, who do you want to go to next? James Comer? James Comer's previous girlfriend, James Comer is the House Oversight Committee chair, said that he was abusive to her, forced her to get an abortion, engaged in horrific conduct towards her. That, that's that's James Comer, by the way. Who, who, who else should we uh, pick out? You, you, you want to pick out Marjorie Taylor Greene grabbing cardboard cutouts of Donald Trump's crotch. Marjorie Taylor Greene stalking and attacking the surviving victims of school shootings, hanging out with Alex freaking Jones. You got Marjorie Taylor Greene talking about Jewish space lasers. You got Marjorie Taylor Greene constantly engaged in heinous acts. Who, who else should we talk about? George Santos, <laughs> in addition to lying about every single thing in his life, you got George Santos, who's alleged to have started, in addition to the fact that he's criminally charged, starting fake charities to steal from veterans, um, to claim he's going to help the veterans, their pets get veterinarian care, and then taking the money. You got George, I could go on, Matt Gates. who else should I name? This is who they are. All of them engage in this behavior. And by the way, we're on the topic of Lauren Boebert. Remember when Lauren Boebert said that the reason that she didn't vote against the debt ceiling bill, which she said she was going to vote against, she goes, well, I was just involved in a silent protest, right? But then the video emerged that she missed the vote and she was running up the stairs and she missed it. Remember this? Play this clip of Lauren Boebert where she goes, call it a silent protest. Play this clip. 
Hey everyone, I am back in Colorado, but let's talk about D.C. No excuses, I was ticked off. They wouldn't let me do my job, so I didn't take the vote. Once again, Washington's power machine shoved a multi-trillion dollar bill down our throats, refused to allow debate or amendments, disregarded everything we fought for in January to actually allow representatives to do their jobs, and instead, they served us up a crap sandwich. Call it a no-show protest, but I certainly let every one of my colleagues and the country know I was against this garbage of a bill and against bypassing the voice of each representative. Deals cut in the dark are why we are headed towards $36 trillion in debt, and I refuse to be a part of it. And then here's the real thing that happened when Lauren Boebert missed the vote. By the way, tr trying to vote against raising the debt ceiling because these MAGA Republicans want to destroy our economy. But here she is missing the vote. Play this clip. They just closed it. They closed it? Yeah. Yeah. And folks, that's who they are. Look, as Ted Lieu said, things happen. Virtually no member of Congress makes all the votes in their career. What's unusual for is for a member to lie about why a vote was missed. Lauren Boebert deliberately misled her constituents about why she missed the debt ceiling vote. I don't know, maybe she was out doing something in Washington, D.C. like she was doing at that Denver theater. Folks, when I use terms like deranged and unhinged, these are not hyperbolic words or hyperbolic language. I'm trying to capture objectively what it is that our collective experience is observing. And I'm not, this is not normal behavior that we're seeing of today's Republican Party. It's not okay behavior. And there has to be at least a minimal threshold of please be an adult. Act professional. We should aspire for leaders who do things like when the Democrats controlled Congress, they were focused on the PACT Act and the CHIPS Act and Infrastructure and Inflation Reduction Act, lowering prescription drug prices, lowering the price of your insulin to $35 per month on Medicare, making Medicare, making government negotiate down prescription drug prices as part of Medicare. Doing things, doing things, delivering things. And not only do you have MAGA Republicans not doing things, they want to send our economy into turmoil, not fund the government. And then they're out there prancing around, citing Jesus and citing Bible verses while engaging in the type of conduct that we're talking about here. It is despicable, folks. And we're not going to normalize it here. We're going to keep calling it out together. How is this real? I'm Ben Micellis from the Midas Touch Network. Hit subscribe. We're on our way to 2 million subscribers thanks to your support. Check us out at patreon.com slash Midas Touch. Have an amazing day. Hey, Midas Mighty. Love this report? Continue the conversation by following us on Instagram at Midas Touch to keep up with the most important news of the day. What are you waiting for? Follow us now.